I believe we are filming. I believe we are recording on the microphone. Oh. Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Vita and I am so happy you're here. Today I'm gonna be doing some winter survival recommendations, things that have been getting me through this pretty tough winter. It is currently snowing outside. There's quite a few inches quite a few inches. Somebody asked me for some more music recommendations and I just was like, you know what, I'll just give a whole recommendations video, make a whole playlist. But first, I have something very exciting to tell you and I'm gonna take a sip of tea before I tell you. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have this amazing jewelry on, which you may have seen in my other video. Etta Love is doing a giveaway with me to give one of you a $500 gift card to get some jewelry for yourself or somebody you love. If somebody gave that to me, I would keel over immediately. I do want to show my appreciation to all of you for helping me get to almost 25,000 subscribers, which is just like blowing my mind. All you have to do is sign up through the link in the description and also leave a comment on this video. The winner will be chosen in a week at random and they'll be reaching out to you. But everybody who enters will also be getting a $25 gift card. I hope you win, I wish all of you could win. I'm literally obsessed with these things. Thank you so much for being here with me and yeah, let's get into the video. All right, did I push record? Okay, oh, that l blinking light means it's recording. <laughs> Okay, I don't really know what order I want to do this in. I will put little like timestamps maybe if it makes sense. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna just start off with sort of the convoluted section of this, which is sort of like podcast slash books slash content. Eh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to talk about a person who is called BJ Fogg. If you want to create lasting habits, that's sort of what he's researched and studied his like whole career. I was listening to a podcast with him in it that kind of got me intrigued and I started watching TED Talks and just different discussions that he's had with other people. I always use the excuse of, I don't have motivation to do X, Y, Z. And I'm constantly trying to boost my motivation in order to do things and in order to create habits. But he talks about motivation not even being the thing that you need to have, um, which kind of blew my mind. Yeah, I'll link some resources down below and I'm actually gonna order his book called tiny habits. Maybe you guys can read it. We can read it together. We can talk about it. I don't know. I've got two podcasts on here. The first one is one that I was introduced to by Harmony Nice. She talks about Jack Cornfield all the time. And I was like, hmm, intriguing. Who is this man? So I listened to Jack Cornfield Heart Wisdom podcast and I love it. It's sort of like recordings of him giving speeches and sort of like seminar type things. They make me feel amazing after I listen to them. Um, just very wholesome, very inspiring content that I think you would enjoy if you are interested in um, not only spirituality, but you are, you know, seeking out information to kind of like help yourself get through some hard stuff. The next podcast that I have to talk about is a witchy podcast, Coffee and Cauldrons with Maria and Robin. I find it very entertaining. I like the way that they banter together. They're very, you know, aware of themselves and of the world, and I appreciate that. Every episode, they talk about a tarot card. They talk about the lunar phases and what it means and what you can expect from that. If you're new to witchcraft, I think it's a really good place to start. If you're not new to witchcraft, it's a very fun podcast to listen to and help you continue your practice daily. The next thing is a book. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's sort of like a self-help book, but it's, it's um, not... It's not like that. <laughs> he talks about the concept of time and I can have conversations with myself in the mirror for hours about how time is not real and, you know, get existential with myself. But the book was exciting to me because it talks about these concepts that I think about a lot, but I don't know how to sort of implement them practically into my life or how to actually practice mindfulness. That's basically what it's about, but he never uses the word mindfulness. He just talks about the power of now. There's this quote that I wrote down and it's sort of in relation to kind of setting goals for yourself. The moment your attention turns to the now, you feel a presence, a stillness, a peace. You no longer depend on the future for fulfillment and satisfaction. You don't look to it for salvation. Therefore, you are not attached to the results. Neither failure nor success has the power to change your inner state of being. I'm very much a nerd. I have a lot of notes on this book. It's a lot of 
ideas. I like to be challenged in my days and so reading books and listening to podcasts has really been a big help for that, for me. We're gonna move on to movies and TV shows. Yeah. Number one on here, which is one of like my favorite shows now, Fleabag. Fleabag. I've known about it for years. I tried watching the first episode once a while ago. Didn't really connect with it. I was like, eh, I'm not really sure. But then I revisited it recently and let me tell you, I was just like peeing myself laughing, but also I loved how real and raw it was and relatable, but ridiculous, but also heartwarming. It was just like all of the things wrapped up together. She's kind of like struggling, stumbling through life. She talks to us and we get to hear her inner dialogue. There's a lot of things that you could go into analyzing this show. Just amazing. Kind of going to a different uh, a different route, which is kind of drama storyline, The Wilds. It seems popular, but maybe that's just because I watched it and then, you know, the internet's watching me and it's like, you like The Wilds? Okay, I'll show it to you every time you open YouTube. It is about this group of girls who go on this retreat. They're kind of like forced into it by their parents, most, most of them. They don't know each other, except a few who are sisters, and their plane crashes under mysterious circumstances. And it's sort of like lost, but not because I mean, they are lost on an island. There's like a sinister twist to it. Yeah, it's just really interesting. You get backstories of each of the characters. You kind of are trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and I would say that's a drama, but it's uh, it's got like its comedic notes here and there. Um, it can be a little bit frustrating and it's very like consuming. So I really enjoyed that. We're gonna like switch back now to sort of funny and uplifting. This is an older show that I have watched a while ago and I recently rewatched it and it's called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I know, I know, you're like, problematic. Guess what? It's honestly doing things on purpose to kind of bring attention to how problematic the world can be. <laughs> sort of like a very cheesy musical, like a grown-up theater kid show. Um, which we love here, we love it. It follows this woman, she's like this unhappy lawyer in New York City, she's very successful in her job, and she runs into her ex-boyfriend from when they were kids. He's like, oh, I live in California in this place called West Covina. Wedding bells start going off in her head and she just like becomes infatuated with him again, quits her job, moves to West Covina, and he's like, what are you doing here? This is weird. And she's like, oh, just like coincidence. But really she's kind of like stalking him and trying to make him fall back in love with her even though he has a relationship and it's complicated and blah, blah, and despite it being cheesy, it is very intelligent. Okay, I'm gonna talk about one more, Pen15. Yeah, put that one together. Childish, of course, but this show is pure comedy. It is hilarious. Two girls who are going through adolescence, puberty, and they're very awkward, very, uh, it's like painfully awkward to see them struggling through their little preteen times. But what's really funny about this show is that these two girls are played by the women who created the show, who are, you know, 30 year olds. It's amazing. It's on Hulu. Hulu. Yes. I am going to randomly sneak in a YouTube channel in here um, that's really been bringing me a lot, a lot of joy. Actually, okay, I just thought about something which I'll get to in a second, but basically the channel that I wanted to recommend is um, Paige and Holly. They're a couple, they react to things, they vlog, they do a lot of stuff. And their videos have been, been bringing me so much happiness right now. I watched a few of their videos randomly without realizing it was the same people until I kind of recently went on a rampage of watching all of their videos. A rampage. <clears throat> anyway, of watching all of their videos and I'm like, I've seen this before, but at the time I had no idea who they were and now I love them. I'm, I love them so much. They are a couple who vlog and stuff like that, but do straight people watch like gay couples on YouTube? That's a deep conversation for another time maybe. I don't know. Music, right. I'm gonna make a playlist. Uh, we're gonna start off with a song that I've been listening to on repeat, which is called I Am A Joker. I Am A Joker by, is it Bia or is it B? Bia 1991. That song specifically, I listened to it for a straight 24 hours and I'm not exaggerating. Again, I'll play them in the background so you can like whatever you're hearing right now, that's the song. Mm, magnifique. The next one's a band in general, Choir Boy. <laughs> 
so good. I literally, one night, I mean, I know that they're amazing, but one night I just like was listening to them with headphones on. It really took me into that realm of like crying about how beautiful music is and how grateful I am to be consuming that kind of art. This next thing is gonna be pretty random and probably kind of like weird to talk about because it's from a video game, Kentucky Route Zero. Basically, I came across this song and it's called Too Late to Love You. I mean, all of these things that I'm recommending, I basically went through a phase of listening to it for a straight 24 hours and I still love it. That's the sign of a good song. You can listen to it for 24 hours and not be sick of it the next time you hear it. It's by Junebug. I thought Junebug was this um, person. Turns out she is not in fact real. And the voice is actually this man called Ben Babbitt who is distorting his voice. Which you can hear it's distorted, but I thought that was like a purposeful creative choice. Ben Babbitt, if you're watching this, sir, please resurrect Junebug and uh, not that I don't- she's not dead, she's in a video game, she's perpetual. I fell in love with a uh, non-existent being. And in the video game, she doesn't even have a face, so... There's not much to hold on to here. The next one... I had this in my previous video because I'm obsessed with this song. It's called I'm on Top by Other. She literally has like three songs and that's it. And I'm so sad because just listen, just listen to it. And this one, sh I was gonna say Shong. Oh, it's cause I was gonna say this next song is called Sugar and Vice by Machine Gum. It's a really good song, but listen, I live for one part that lasts about 10 seconds and I wish it was elongated to like five minutes because I want to just listen to it over and over again. It's so good. The whole song is good, but another band, Tempers. Tempers have been really giving me the, uh, the, the feels, like just deep, love it. Another band is Trust. Um, it's T-R slash S-T. The song Iris and the song Sulk especially I love. If you're really into kind of like moody music, kind of dark, still very alternative type of stuff, Trust is amazing. Lena Volney? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not, I, I don't speak that language, but do it. It's a very uplifting, happy song. Um, makes me feel good. It feels Right by Big Pig. That is also a feel good song. These both definitely fit the vibe. No, no. I don't know why I said that. I'm just gonna like play you some music right now and maybe we can just like dance to it or something. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box for more information if you're looking for it. Don't forget to comment and click on the link in my description so you can enter that giveaway. Check it out. Yeah, peace out, homies. Have a good time in life. Okay. <laughs>